Well, Paul Westinghouse is saying that it intends to protect its core businesses and emerge from bankruptcy as a stronger company. We've been sounding out some experts and some people in the community, what they think may be ahead for people who work for Westinghouse. Westinghouse has deep roots and history in the Pittsburgh area and 4,500 employees working here now. People we talked with in Cranberry are telling us. I was very sad about it. I think the growth of Westinghouse here really spurned our whole area to grow. I think they'll bounce back. It's tough to see looking around, not as many orders for nuclear power plants. Point Park University business professor Dr. Elaine Luther tells us. A bankruptcy doesn't necessarily um, say a business goes out of business. In fact, that it's a way for them to restructure and continue to operate. She notes parent company Toshiba is talking about divesting of Westinghouse, but even that doesn't necessarily mean job losses. If they really are a candidate for being sold, uh, then they want to keep it operating in the same way. Allegheny Conference CEO Dennis Yablonski wouldn't speak on camera, but says, like the Pittsburgh region itself, Westinghouse has a history of transformation and resilience, which we believe will serve the company well. No one from Westinghouse itself is available to talk on camera today. Reporting live in Cranberry, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.